guys, I know I just checked my videos and I know on the first video you couldn't hear me, but you know what I was reading. <coughs> now let's continue. Eh, Wattpad didn't work like a few tr minutes when I tried. Jack felt his cheeks heat up. No, he thought. I have a boyfriend. I have a boyfriend. Jack typed out and said it before he could change before he changed his mind. He'd only been dating Mark for sixty minutes, for God's sakes. But in technicality, I think I already been in a relationship with the mysterious boy. When Mark asked him to be his boyfriend, maybe he'd actually maybe he'd actually cheated on the mystery boy with Mark instead. Jack was so confused, his head hurt. You do? Yes. He asked me today, not too long ago, actually. I suppose I really like him. He's he's considerate, kind, funny. We have a lot of things in common. And I like him. It's a bit of a complicated right now, but I think we'll be able to work it out. Sounds like you really like him, huh? Yeah, I do. I really do. I, I can live with that, as long as you're happy. I am too. Thank you, mysterious boy. I'm hoping we can be friends, though. No hard feelings? No hard feelings. Just please don't be upset with me on Friday. Wha what do you mean? To... To which Jack got no response. <laughs> it took me a while. <laughs> Next day of school could be the best described as strange. He and Mark talked to each other more than they previously had, which was normal as they were now in a relationship. That of which was kept a as a secret from the rest of the school. Jack didn't even tell Emmett. Mark and Jack were actually talking in the hallway between classes when Mark's friend approached them. Why do you have to be hanging out with that thing? A boy named Tristan. Uh, I remember Tristan back in the day. Tristan forward, he was my best friend. God. We kept laughing at each other. It was just hilarious. <laughs> we couldn't... We couldn't... Every time we just looked at each other, we couldn't help but smile. <laughs> I remember that. Uh, good old days. Now I'm in fifth grade. That was fourth grade. Uh, Tristan said, another one of Mark's fake friends. English project, Mark said. And that thing has a name. His name is Jack. Can you call him that or don't call him anything at all? Stop being a prick. Mark was being very good at standing up for Jack. After Jack had addressed it af and after their relationship was started. Thank you for standing up for me so much, Jack said with a smile. After Tristan walked away, I don't know why everyone hates you so much. You're wonderful, Mark said. You should probably get to your, your next class. You're right, Jack replied. We're going, we're gonna, we're gonna work on the project some more after school. Yeah, Mark smiled. I'll meet, I'll meet you like I did yesterday outside of the school. Jack nodded and smiled. Then left to go see it, to, left for his next class. God, I'm so sorry. If I laugh in here... And because you guys couldn't hear me last time, if if I laugh in this, sorry, if I laugh in this, I'm sorry if my laugh's annoying. I'm so sorry. Jack waited outside for Mark. It's been ten minutes since the final bell rang. Jack was beginning to worry. He went back inside of the school to look for Mark when some were around him. Mark, Jake began. We noticed you've been hanging around with that little Jack. That <laughs> little Jack. Oh, it's just so adorable. Yeah, a boy named Cody chipped in, e earing an irritated glare from Mark. I am, Mark stated. What about it? Tristan scoffed. He's a little... He's gay, too. So what if he is? Mark asked, practically speaking through his teeth as his jaw was tightened. It shouldn't matter. What are we... What we want to know... Is why you're being you're always hanging out with him around him Jake said he was the alpha alpha the leader of the group as far as Jack knew we got paired together for English English project Mark said I went to his house yesterday to work on it ah Cody said Cody said sure what are you what are you a fag too no Mark said I'm not stop hanging out sing it stop hanging out with him no Mark said again he's my friend I bet you two are just buddies. Another boy, Jared Pitchin. And Mark walked over to Jared and grabbed a collar of his shirt. Jake laughed. At least you're not as much of a fag as Jack. Mark looked over at Jake and let go of Jared and walked over to Jake. Call him a fag one more time, Mark warned. Jack chuckled. Jake, 
Jesus, I don't know why Jackson may head to say that. He, he's a fag. What are you going to do about it? Mark punched him across the face. After he did, Jake touched his nose. It was bleeding and hurt much more than he'd like to admit. Mark's jaw was clenched. He was, he was then pushed against the locker behind him. Jake rather, rather roughly at that. He pinned him against the lockers and punched him several times, even kneed him in the groin. It was when Jack ran up to them, taking a couple of punches. Stop. Surprisingly enough, the boys stopped. What are you doing, your fag? Cody screamed. Jack shook his head, touching his face to find his nose bleeding as well. Answer me. Stop calling me names, Jack screamed. I've had enough. Mark just sat behind me in pain. Watching his boyfriend standing up for him opposite of several times, Marcus stood up for Jack. Why should we, you idiots? Jack pressed his teeth together, walking towards Cody, and punched him harder than Mark had punched Jake, and vice versa. Then, we wa then he walked up to Jake and pointed his finger directly in his face. You need to stop being such a all the dang time. Then he pushed him away and kicked Jared in the groin. Tristan began running away from Jack. That's right, Jack screamed. Don't me don't freaking mess with us. Do you hear me? Tristan nodded, actually scared, and ran until he went around the corner and couldn't be seen. The other boys scampered away until, uh, until it was Jack and Mark. Jack turned around and kneeled beside Mark. Oh, oh my god, are you okay? Fine, Mark lied. He'd, he'd been punched in the face twice. In the chest once, stomach once, and kicked to the groin. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. No, you're not, Jack said, caressing Mark's face with both his hands. You're gonna be okay. Mark chuckled. I'll be fine. Jack kissed Mark's forehead when I heard someone laughing. I knew it, Tristan said. You're a couple of fags. God freaking damn it, Mark whispered. Did I, say the d did I, say, did I just say the D word? Oh, God. Previously, Jack kissed Mark's forehead, then someone laughing. I knew it was Tristan, a couple of fags. Jack stood up and, and Tristan's face. Get the freak away from us. I'm not scared of you. And you think I should be scared of you, Jack yelled? Go away, Jack Mark said. That's enough. Do you do you not hear a word he's say, saying? It's okay, Mark said calmly. You're disgusting, Tristan said. I'll be rotten hell, both of you. Then he walked off. Jack sat on the ground right where he previously was sitting and started crying while his hands went his hair. It's okay, Mark said, standing up, though he was still in pain and helped Jack stand up. Jack had attempted to calm down, but was still crying a bit. Mark patted Jack's back. It'll be fine. I can't freaking believe this BS, Jack screamed. When he and Mark were talking the previous events at, at school, I know, Mark agreed, but it's pretty awesome that you scared him off. I didn't know you had it in you. Boy, did it feel good to let that out, Jack groaned. They're pricks. That's all they're going to ever be. They're scums on earth, Mark added in. It's people like them that make it in a bad world in a world in a bad as a word world a bad place. Well, not just people like them, but you know what I mean. Yeah, Jack said, sitting next to Mark on his bed. Okay. Uh, he'll lean on Mark and rested his head on the crook of his neck. I bet you someone's going to tell everybody. I don't even care anymore, Mark said. I'm with you. It shouldn't... I... I shouldn't be scared to admit it. So if they tell everyone you'll be fine with it? Yeah, I think so, Mark said. It'll be scary at first, but it's going to be okay. Next day was Friday. Jack didn't get to find out who the mystery boy was until the next week, though. Mark picked up Jack for... Picked up Jack for school that morning. He was groggy and very tired, as he didn't sleep well the night before for from the fears of coming out of school. When, when they arrived at school, they walked together holding hands. A few people looked over and whispered things to people that were with causing everyone in the front of foot in front area to look at them. Mark's grip tightened on Jack's hand. Jack squeezed reassur reassuringly. The two walked into the lockers to get their math books 
and they went to class. The teacher looked confused and honestly a bit disgusted at the sight of two males in a relationship. She wasn't the most homophobic of people who she didn't exactly support homosexuality either. They sat on their desks they were, that were next to each other, close to the back of the room, and just made a little conversation. There was about two other people in, in the room beside the teacher, but they were quiet. People that didn't bother Jack. They were nice. Jack looked at a girl named Emma. She had sent Mark, him and, and Mark a supportive smile. Jack smiled back. Soon enough, more people filled the, filled the classroom until everyone was inside. The lesson began, and neither Mark not Jack paid attention to it. Someone coughed and muttered under the breath profanity about the newly formed couple. Mark looked back and shot them daggers. Jack, Jack covered his mouth. He let out a little chuckle. The bell rang. The teacher shouted, Don't forget to do your homework. Jack and Mark stood up and in, in, interlaced their fingers. Okay. And an unimportant kid walked to them and pushed Jack's textbook and notebook out of his hands to the floor. If you do that one more tar time, Mark began to s while grating his teeth. Don't even think about it, Fishbach, the teacher interrupted. Did you see what he did, Mark said? Yes, but he doesn't deserve to get hurt, referring to the boy that pushed Jack's books out of his hand. Mark stormed out of the classroom with Jack's, with Jack's, Jack's in his hand after he was able to pick up his books, of course. Oh, I was about to say, what does he have, mini Jacks in his hand? I can't believe this, Mark said. I'm so sick of this. Not even the teacher would stand up for you. It's okay, Jack responded, walking over to his locker with Mark, opening it and putting his books inside. I'm used to it. <clears throat> you shouldn't used to be getting bullied, Mark said. It's horrible, and it should be... I, sh I used to be the one that bullied you. I'm so sorry, Jack. Jack closed his locker and looked over at Mark. I forgive you. All that matters now that you're not still like that. I'm the, the one that should be sorry, you know, for making everyone hate you because relationship and everything. I'm the one that freaks everything up. You're not. Don't freak everything up. You don't freak everything up, Jack. Mark said, you deserve to be treated so... You don't deserve to be treated so badly that you didn't do anything wrong. It's their problem. It was my problem. I never do anything right, Jack sighed, saying to ma manly, mainly I, uh, to himself, Stop talking like that, Mark said, slamming his hand on the locker next to Jack's. Jack dropped his backpack on the ground and sat next to it in front of his own locker. Jack, Mark said, worried about his boyfriend. Please. Eh. Please, I'm so sick of this, Jack said, running his hands through his hair. Even though there were a few worried glances his way, and a lot of mocking looks, as they were still passing period, there were many other students passing by to get to class. Sick of what, Mark asked, sitting close to Jack. People hated me for no reason, Jack said, not looking at Mark. I haven't done anything wrong. They just don't like me, and I don't know why. Jack, Mark said, you need to be yourself. Stop worrying about Worrying about, worrying, worrying so much about what other people think. Jack sighed. The bell rang, signaling, signaling that they should be in their next class. But they stayed sitting on the floor together. Jack, Jack nodded. Right. I don't think it's a good idea to stay on the floor. What if the teachers come? Mark and Jack snuck out of the school at lunch, going to Jack's house together at as Jack's mother still wasn't home. They'd be late to English class, and frankly, they didn't care. Th there was about a month before Romeo and Juliet project was due, which gave Duo plenty of time to complete it. The two of them were currently sitting on the couch with a random show for the f on a background, background noise. Okay, Mike said, are you ready to, 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 for the stupidest joke ever? Yes, Jack nodded with a, with a smile chuckle. Definitely. So, be why can't you trust an a Tom? A Tom? Why? Because they're literally made up, make up everything. Well, guys, if you guys like this video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Bye.